Right, yeah, 30 coins and a flower jar. That is perfect. And a true, fin, true form pin, which if you don't know the true form pins, uh, if you get turned into a scarecrow, or no, you, uh, you equip it. It uh, allows you not to be turned into, so it raises my defense overall, uh, but it allows you not to be turned into mushrooms or scarecrows. So that's kind of cool. Ah, I didn't want to fight this dude. I just want to get back to where I was. All right, let's be easy. No hobgoblins, so we're good. Oh, and he ran away. <laughs> All right. green switch I need to hit. There we go. The water has been drained. Perfect. I know there's a lot of places in this area that I tend to actually not go sometimes. Oh. Let's see if the other gobies spread in my hammer. Game look decent? You've ever played Mario RPG? One of my favorite RPG games. I mean, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I mean, you've got your basic, you know, leveling up and everything. And, you know, the items you get as you progress through the game level up. Well, not level up with you, but, um, like, as you go, you're just going to... As long as you have enough coins, you can buy the next item or the next piece of, piece of clothing that, you know, that raises your abilities and stats. It's not like you have a variety of different ones that you can choose from. You pretty much, you know, if you pretty much have the money to buy the next upgradable weapon or something, then, then that's usually what you do. So, I mean, it's pretty straightforward, but it's just really kind of a relaxing playthrough for me, so. <clears throat> yeah, it's different than the, the Mario Luigi RPG ones. It's definitely different. But it's along the same kind of Along the same lines as those. I don't remember if I'm supposed to be going this way, but oh well. Yeah, Thunderbolt Mallow. Alright, I can use the uh, flower tab. Or flower jar, either one. Flower jar. Raise my flower back up. I say, I don't think there actually is anything in this area. So let's just go. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. This is why I need to lower the water so I can get to this pipe down here. Oh, and that just healed me up too. Crap. Oh, well. I forgot that that was there. Oh, we got a bunch of... Goosts and goalies. Goosts and goolies and whatever. I'll get the shadow out. I think he's kind of annoying. Quang. <clears throat> <Blah, blah. laughs> Alright, not bad. But yeah, it's just one of my favorite RPGs, one of my favorite games. Oh, Lucky, that's one we haven't come across yet. Um, just one of my favorite games to play because it's really not too difficult as long as you do the basic, you know, grinding here and there from time to time. It's just a fun, relaxing play for me. So we did it last year, and I usually try to play it like once every year, and so I thought it was about this time. So because we got that Lucky, what now we have the option to do sometimes it'll be coins sometimes it'll be xp so this will say you want to double your coins challenge the system big win or lose it all so you say oh, i'll do it and then they show yoshi and then even if you follow the yoshi it should be the middle one because that's the same one that i was watching but it's never the same one that you're actually using so it was wrong so it's really all just chance like you could follow the same egg and now we lost five coins <laughs> But anyway, so that's how that works. Just to kind of show you how it all works. Let's go ahead and save. 
I would like to get up on top of that, though. Forget how you're supposed to get up on top of there. Because there's that other box. Uh-oh. We got... Bellum. This must be Bellum. Is that a fire hose or his tongue? Mohoho. Ack. It's a snack attack. And you're it. Uh-oh. Alright, we got a boss fight here. <clears throat> See how Thunderbolt does against him. 38, alright. Oh, room service has been kind to me. Where's my bib? Yup. And plus the music in this game is really good too. I like just about every track on this game. <clears throat> And this shouldn't be that long, a uh, stick for body, head full of straw. Give me a scarecrow, rah rah. All right, throw it at. Hopefully, he throws it at Malo because we have the, the pin. Ah, I was gonna say because we have the true form pin, but oh well. I mean, it should be a pretty quick playthrough. I think last last year we did like five streams of it or so. Um, so yeah, I can't do anything except for some of this. So I'm gonna. I can't use items, and you can't do attack. You can do your specials. Um. <clears throat> but you can't use anything else, so we'll at least get some attack in here. But yeah, it shouldn't be that long of a playthrough. Which is, uh... Good, especially after doing a month and a half of Breath of the Wild. Can't stand it! The hunger! And then he eats him. And now I'm screwed because... I'm a Scarecrow, but at least we can do another special. Uh, looks like we were lagging there a bit ago, so sorry about that. All I can do is... All I can do is defend right now until we turn out of the... Should have pro... Oh, okay, there we go. I should have probably had... <clears throat> Mario be the, have the true, fin, true form pin on. That was scary! Oh, we have pure water, too. Let's try pure water on him. Does that hurt him? Why do we have so many? Sleep sauce. Oh, pure water helps for ghosts. What am I doing? Oh well. Sleep sauce. Not me too. Oh no. Now I turn me into Scarecrow. Wake up, Milo. I have to defend. There we go. I need freaking... Uh... Honey syrup. I only have two? Crap, I should have bought some more. Can't stand it! Oh, he's gonna eat me again. <clears throat> I think jump will be good on him, actually. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, I'm back. Alright, I'm 25. I'm alright there. Let's go ahead and do... Yeah, we'll just do another jump on him then. That was scary! Alright, Thunderbolt time. Ooh, and I got the little bonus. If you defeat me... You still won't beat me. Beware the flood. Cool. Beware the flood. We're not playing Halo. That's tomorrow night. Experience. We got a bunch of coins. You're gonna find that you're gonna run into getting coins a lot, uh, pretty easily. I think on our other game, um, last year's stream we did, I ended with 999 coins. So. I don't think you're gonna have problems getting coins up. Below, uh, below must have been lying when he said, when he said water would come gushing out of here. Uh, Mario, do you hear something or is it just me? Water, here it comes, hit the button. All right, good, there you go. Mallow, oh, you idiot. Shouldn't the water press the button down? Oh well. All right, now we get some rapids here. <clears throat> 
And for anybody new that's watching, I'll go through the explanation here just so you can see here. This is Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Sure. You'll start off first at the falls. Use the control pad to move left to right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go. So I've never, as much as I've played it, I've never really been able to find the perfect path to go. And you can only do it so many times. Oh, go that way, go that way. I want the green coins. Which I don't tend to use green coins a lot, but... Go ahead and go in here. You go in these little caves and they take you through these little... Things. Sometimes you get items like that flower we may end up getting. I think it like pops up or something. Man, he may end up dropping it on us, I think. Yeah, see? Kind of cool. And then we pop out another, another side. And you can always come back and do it again to collect some of the coins and stuff that you may not have done the first time, so. Well, that path sucks. Let's go to the left. Eh. I guess doing that wasn't the best route, but oh well. Now we get the barrels. <clears throat> now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Sure. Time your jumps to grab the coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Miss it, and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. So there you go. Oh, almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop out or you'll lose coins. <clears throat> oh, come on. Ah. <laughs> oh. I wanted to jump. That's the one thing I can never time right on this is uh, on that one. I just chose wrong jumping on the next barrel. I always have the hardest time. There we go. Oh, chose wrong again. Same with that one. Because you never know right off the bat which way is going to have the most coins. Ah, fish. Do a barrel! <laughs> if I don't get hit by any fish, that'll be awesome. I usually get hit by some of the fish. Alright! I scored big that. Wasn't that fun? You got 53 coins! Trade the coins you get from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones, and Tadpole Pond's got more of them, more info on them. You got 53 coins, but that's not enough to cash in, so I'll hold them for you. Come back and try again. Here's something I picked up, you can keep it for good luck. A knock knock shell. Oh, buddy. So I, as I was talking about before, about, <clears throat> you know, getting new items and new stuff to up your stats, where as you go, you know, you're just, the next item you get is going to always be better than your last one, so now we have no need for the hammer at all, so we can just end up selling it, so. It's, like I said, simplistic, kind of RPG-ish kind of thing, so. Go ahead and save. That may be actually good to come back and do in between streams. Just keep doing that over and over and over so I can get a bunch of <clears throat> frog coins. That's one thing I, yeah, that I've never really done a lot of is the frog coin. So, all right. So we're coming up on. Now we still got some time left, of course, but 